Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn in a very easy and step by step way how to download and set up Visual Studio Code and we will see this both on Windows and Mac operating system and we will look at the GUI and features and components and settings. We will also learn how to create folders and files in Visual Studio Code. We will see how to run a sample code and finally we will look at some tips and tricks. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. Let's get started and I will go to my Windows operating system first and I'll go to the browser and go to Google and here I am just going to search for Visual Studio Code and you can see this is the official website for Visual Studio Code which is code.visualstudio.com and if I go here this is the website and you can see here we are getting a option to download for Windows. Now if you are on Mac and you again go to the same website for Visual Studio Code and here you will get an option to download for Mac operating system. So you can see on my Mac I am getting an option for download for Mac. I will also make uh, this links available. So let me also make this link available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you in the description section of this video. And here I will first uh, do on Windows. So I will say download for Windows and it will start downloading the exe file. So you can see this is the exe and I will open this. I'll show you say show in folder and this is the exe file and now I can click on this exe and it will start the installation wizard. So here it is asking me are you sure you want to continue I will say ok and here is the installation wizard I will say next and read and accept the agreement and say next and here you can see this is the location where your program will be installed. So you can uh, change the location but I will keep it as it is. Let me also uh, copy this and keep it for reference. So this is the location where it will get added on my Windows system and I will say next and I do not want to create a start menu folder. This is fine. Uh, so I'll say next and here you have some more option if you want to create a desktop icon you can select this and also this is important add to path. So this will add Visual Studio Code to your path environment variable and this will enable you to uh, start or access Visual Studio Code from any location on the command line. So I will say next and install and this will install Visual Studio Code on Windows operating system. and let us wait for the process to complete and yes this is done you can see we have also got a desktop shortcut here and I will say launch Visual Studio Code and say finish and this will start our Visual Studio Code and it will also take you to the documentation on the browser and you can see this is the documentation page which will have some very important features and documentation on Visual Studio Code and you can look at it. I will go back to my Visual Studio Code and you can see this is here. Now if you are on Mac you can just download for Mac and it will download a zip file. So let me just show you if I go on my Mac it will download a zip like this and then you can unzip it and it will have the Visual Studio app and you can open this and it will again open Visual Studio Code on your Mac operating system. So this is how you can do it on uh, Windows and Mac. So let me also write down the step. Step number one is download and open Visual Studio Code and here is the link. So you can just download it and open it from here and then step number two is explore GUI and the features okay so if I take you to Visual Studio Code you can see the first thing you will get is this welcome screen and here if you see this left side pane this is called the activity bar so this is the activity bar where you have these options explorer search uh, this is source control then we have debug and extension and this will be very frequently used and at the top we have the menu and then we have these editors here and then at the bottom we have a status bar. So if I show you this 
purple colored section this is the status bar where you can see the warnings and error count and some other things are here so you can see some notifications as well here now if I go to the welcome uh, editor or this screen you will have a option for interface overview so if I click here it will show you all these options so this is the file explorer this is the search this is source code management launch and debug manage extensions and here we have a command palette that you can invoke using the shortcut control shift and p in case of mac it will be command shift and p i will show you how this is done and you can see this is the status bar where you can see the errors and warnings and then you can see some notifications here i will say escape and I will come back here and then you have this color theme so if you click here you can actually change the theme or the appearance of your visual studio code so in case you are uh, you like a lighter theme you can select a lighter theme I like the dark theme which is the default theme and I will just go with it okay so this is the uh, GUI and uh, let me show you if I go to file so this is the uh, menu here let me also show you the settings so you can go to the settings here and you have all these options command palette settings extension keyboard shortcuts user snippets color theme and all these if you go to the settings you will have these auto save uh, options then if you want to change the font size you can do it from here the font family and all these things you can do from here this is a text editor workbench windows and so on and we will look into details in the coming sessions but for now I will close this okay and let us go and see some of the options in the menu if I go to file we have options to create new items open and save if I go to edit we have like undo redo and some common things that we have in edit cut copy pastes if I go to selection you have expand selection shrink selection copy line up copy line down when you are in in your code you can use all this and then if I go to view you can see here we have a view command palette open view appearance if I go to the appearance you can see you can move the sidebar right so if you see this sidebar which is also called the activity bar some people like to have it at the right side if you are accustomed to work with visual studio then uh, you might want to have it on the right side so you can just go to appearance and say move sidebar to right and you can see it has come here and I will just go back to the appearance again and I want it to be on the left side I will put it on the left side and also you can rearrange these icons so if I want to move this up I will just drag and drop it and it is here and you can just drag and drop it and uh, change the locations again going to view and appearance you have all this zoom in zoom out the shortcut is control plus the equals key or control plus the minus key in case of Mac it will be command equal and command minus and reset zoom all this you can do you can also hide the status bar which is this bottom purple color bar and also you can hide the activity bar so if I say view and appearance so you can say uh, move hide the status bar and then hide the activity bar so if I say hide activity bar it will hide this bar and then if I go to the editor layout you can have all these editor layouts here and then explorer search debug extensions everything is here on the go menu you have switch editor and some other options then we have debug so when we want to debug our code we use debug then if you want to go to the terminal it is here and then help has some uh, useful things like welcome the first screen that we saw you can go from here help then interactive playground documentation if you want to go to documentation you can directly go from here and it will open documentation on your browser and then uh, we have tips and tricks this is again very useful uh, you can look at the tips and tricks again it will open in the in your browser and you can look at some tips for using visual studio code and then in the help we have some um, direct options to report an issue and all these things you can also go to about and it will show you the version of visual studio code so uh, this was about 
some GUI and of course if you press command shift and P it will open the command palette and it will show you all the options and you will show you all the shortcuts as well and whenever you want to look at anything you can just start typing it will show you all the results and you can select whatever you want to do so command palette is important uh, let me also write it down here step number three is command palette which gets invoked by the key combination control plus shift plus p in case of mac it will be command plus shift plus p and you can use command palette and then um, you can see we on the activity bar we have this explorer so i will go to the explorer and here you can see whatever editors are open will be shown inside the section open editors and then we also have a section for our opened folder so as of now we do not have any open folder so what i will do is i'll go to my desktop and let me create a new folder new folder and i will say this is vs code and i will go to my vs code and say open folder here and I'll go to my desktop and select the folder and open it here and you can see now it has come here so inside open folders I have VS code here and here now inside this I can either create new folders or I can also create new files so whenever you will write do any scripting or coding you can create new files and do your coding so step number four will be create or I'll say open folder and then step number five will be create file so I can click on this create file and to zoom in I can also say control and plus to just zoom inside and now I will click this and let us say I want to uh, create some groovy script so I will say test dot groovy and say enter and you can see we have the test dot groovy editor here and here let me say I want to say print hello world so I'm just writing a simple groovy uh, statement now uh, one of the important things with Visual Studio Code is it has a lot of extensions so you can see this is the extensions icon if I go here you can see there are a lot of extensions and you can also um, search for extensions like I type groovy and you can see it has all the extensions for groovy I can add it and then if I just want to add some extension to run the code let me just search for it and yes we have a code runner and you can see the details here so this is code runner and it can be used to run any of these codes in any of these programming languages I will say install so this is very easy you can just go to the extensions search for your extension and then install it and now if I go to my groovy script let me go to the settings and I will change the font size so I will make the font size as 18 and yes so I'll just do a right click now and say run code and this option was not available earlier but now with uh, the code runner we have this run code option so here this is done uh, let me see I will use single quotes and say run code again and it is running and yes so this is running you also have a terminal where you can directly go it will open in whatever the file you have opened it will open the same location and then you can write your commands or here or you can run it from here as well so I will also save it and if I say print ln and say run code so this is now printing yes so this was some, there was some mistake now it is printing hello world and also uh, if I go to the command palette using control shift and P and I search for Zen so there is a Zen mode which is a focused mode I can go to the Zen mode by using control plus K and Z keys also and I, if I click here let me go to the command palette and say Zen 
and say zen view now you can see we are in a zen view zen mode where everything is very focused i do not see anything else i can do my coding and if i want to come out i can press escape so i'll press escape and i will come out so here we have step number six is uh, extensions add extensions step number seven is create and run code okay and then uh, we have learnt about most of the things if I go back to the browser you can see this is the documentation so let me also copy this and step number let me just say references so this is the link for documentation and then this is the link for tips and tricks and this will be very useful so I will also make it available here and that's it so these are some seven steps very easy seven steps by which you can start using visual studio code and visual studio code is a very very popular editor and it is very useful so there are many languages that you can uh, work with using visual studio code and of course you can go to the website of visual studio code and you will find a lot of uh, options if I go to the languages you can see so many languages are there we have JavaScript JSON HTML CSS TypeScript and so many languages and in fact we have a lot of extensions that you can use for different programming and languages on Visual Studio Code I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching